welcome back dear students in our science class let us discuss today fuels the materials that are burnt to produce a large amount of heat energy are called fuels fuels are classified on the basis of physical state first solid fuels these fuels exist in solid state at room temperature for example wood coal and cow dung cakes second liquid fuels the fuels that are in liquid form at room temperature are called liquid fuels for example petrol diesel and kerosene third gaseous fuels the fuels that are in gaseous state at room temperature are called gaseous fuels for example lpg cng biogas etc now calorific value of fuels different fuels produce different amounts of heat on burning the amount of heat produced by the complete combustion of 1 kg of a fuel is called its calorific value the unit of calorific value is kilojoule per kilogram a fuel with higher calorific value is considered to be an efficient fuel calorific value of liquid and gaseous fuels is higher than that of solid fuels hence these are more efficient fuels than solid fuels hydrogen gas has the highest calorific value among all fuels that is why it is used as a rocket fuel now let us understand characteristics of an ideal fuel an ideal fuel should have the following characteristics first it should be fairly cheap and easily available second it should be easy to handle safe to transport and convenient to store third it should have a high calorific value fourth it should not produce any harmful and irritating fumes during burning fifth it should not leave ash that is residue after burning sixth it should have a proper ignition temperature that is it should not be too low or too high 